Hello and welcome back to Gracefield. In this video, I am doing a 1950s morning routine, what it may have been like as a 1950s housewife. So for those of you who do not know, my name is Christy and I am a wife and this is about to be my 13th year of marriage. And you won't see it in this video, but I am a mom of five and I do homeschool my kids. So the first thing was the stretches. So I did a little bit of stretching in bed and I went ahead and got these covers pulled back so that we can just go ahead and get this bed aired out for the day. And now you see me getting on my gown. This is the winter edition. So when you come back the next time, you'll see more of a spring, summer, now you get fall, winter, because I want to be cozy. <laughs> so the next thing is to go ahead and pull the curtains open. It's time to go ahead and brush the teeth. So I'm getting those brushed. And one of my absolute favorite things to do is my morning skincare. So here I am cleansing the skin. and applying a little bit of moisturizer in my glass jar. It was believed that adding a little bit of cold water to your wrist helped you wake up. Next up is tea time, or it could have been hot lemon water, but in this case for me, it was tea, and so I just set a beautiful spread for myself, and here I am just deciding what tea I was gonna partake in of this day, and I ended up settling for this organic black currant beauty. I cannot express how absolutely amazing it was to just sit in silence and although I wasn't supposed to be eating breakfast I did have just a little snack with my tea A tip is that we do not stir our tea in a circular motion because that may cause it to clink the teacup. So we just stir the tea back and forth and that is how you stir your tea. And just in case you didn't know it, my pearls. My husband has already gone to work for the day. So after um, getting him squared away, I was up this morning for prayer and then I got up with him. I saw him off, I made him breakfast, I packed him lunch, and I typically don't, but I laid back down for just a few minutes on this day. So I was a little more tired than normal, 
And I just want to say it's okay to give yourself permission to have a little break sometimes because at the end of the day, as long as you can get everything done, we should really listen to our bodies. Now it is time for a bath and personal care. We always use soap and we soak in the tub. Once we're done, we go ahead and get on our body powder, our deodorants, or lotions, but this is just a really beautiful time. Okay, so I am dressed for today. This is what I am wearing. It's very comfortable and now I'm gonna go have some breakfast. Right after I make my bed. While making the bed, it's so important to really just take your time and give it your absolute best. We really wanna give the bed absolute care. Take the time, getting the spaces, making sure that all the ends have cover, and more importantly, just being intentional and being mindful of slowing down. It is so easy to have a million things to do and go so fast trying to do so much, but what I found is if I take my time and give my best to each area, I can accomplish so much with so much more joy, with so much more awe of God, just with a grateful heart. I truly feel so grateful. So now it's breakfast time and I'm just burning some sausage. <laughs> now I had some sausage and the vegan sausages, um, I find that they take a little bit longer. And you guys know that these cast iron skillets move quite fast. So anyway, I had some vegan sausages, some hash browns, I had some eggs, and this was such a good breakfast. We are blessed to be able to have chickens, so these eggs came from our backyards. So that's always a good thing. And now I get to take off this apron and I just get to sit and relax a bit. I've been up and at it since four something this morning. This job, although it seems easy and glamorous, it really is a lot of work. But I tell you, it is such a blessing to be able to take care of every detail of my home, to ensure that my spouse is fed three delicious, nutritious meals, to make sure that when he comes home, he's greeted with a kiss, with a beverage, where he has a place that he can go to just relax from the busy cares of the world, the cares of the day. I take extra care and pride in making sure that we have a good atmosphere here so that he feels loved, valued, important, and most importantly, respected. I wanted to share with you guys the jam that I made my own self. And now, this is when I can go ahead and get a little bit fancy. I absolutely love this fragrance. It is my favorite. This is where I sit, where I powder my face, add a little bit of blush, eyeliner, mascara, and lipstick.
after I've taken my time and got on my jury of choice for the day. My absolute favorite are pearls. I have been eyeing a large set strand of pearls, but I know that I'm blessed to have what I have, and I know if I keep being diligent and faithful, I will get the desires of my heart soon. There is something so beautiful, so soothing, and so healing about just taking your time, not being in a hurry, not being anxious for anything. I wanted to find something that was similar to the shirt that I was wearing and I decided to do a little mix to get the right color and the end result I thought was beautiful. Women from the 1950s loved their liner and their mascara. The more layers, the better. Rose is my absolute favorite scent and I love anything with rose. And this mascara has rose in it. I am a big fan of rose, like I have 20 rose bushes, so this was definitely a treat when I found this mascara, and I think the biggest perk of it is, it's from a clean line. Although makeup is certainly not a requirement, it's definitely an asset to enhance our natural beauty. And when our husbands are at work, if other women are working near him and with him and by him, they are looking their best. They are looking nice often. And so we wanna make sure 
when they come home, they don't see their wives looking the same way they looked when they left and make sure that we are keeping our eyes. We want to look good for them. We want to be our best for our spouse. We want to still excite them. We still want to make them peek at us and wink their eyes. And if taking just an extra couple of minutes to throw on something can do that, then I think it's worth the extra minutes. I don't think I ever spend more than five minutes on my makeup. And I don't look like a supermodel. But I'm grateful for the skin that I have. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to do a little something extra. Because I represent my husband, but I also represent a king. His grace and faithfulness is new every morning. And as I'm done this part of my day and headed into the next part, I am being reminded to let all I do be done in love. So that includes washing, drying, cleaning, So here I am doing the dishes and just a quick tidy, but because I clean as I go, I typically don't have a lot to clean. I don't want you focusing on the imperfections in your home, in your life, in your marriage, in your homemaking skills. I want you to focus on whatever things are lovely, whatever things are pure and just. Think on these things. Think on things above.
When was the last time that you felt joy in homemaking and homekeeping and taking care of the things that you've been blessed with, things that so many would love to have? When was the last time that you really stopped to appreciate it, to appreciate the fact that you have dishes to wash, that you have a home to take care of, that you're able to provide a safe, beautiful place for your children or for your spouse. What a blessing. What an honor. And so our focus and mindset has to shift from I have to do X, Y, Z to I get to love from my home and my family in such a way. Every job, no matter how small, truly has an importance. So let us not look down on ourselves or on others, but rather let us do small things well. Okay, so as I finish up my tidy, I wanted to go ahead and water my house plants. And I just want to remind you guys that you don't have to have a lot to be successful, to be a good wife, to be a good homemaker, a good homekeeper. All you have to do is take care of what you have, no matter how big or how small. So here I am just taking away some of the dead leaves. And although no one likes to be pruned, pruning is for our own good and for our growth and it is absolutely necessary so if you're find that you are in a season where you're being pruned or stretched or just having challenges just know it's okay and it's for your growth for your development and it's well so as I finish my morning routine, I am simply opening up my curtains and my blinds because this is a symbol. This signifies that I am ready for visitors in my home. So the custom is once everything was done for the day, you'd open the curtains, you'd open the blinds, and visitors would see that as an invitation to come. So I don't know if anyone will visit me today or not, but I know I do have someone who would like to visit me, the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to take these quiet moments to sit and spend time in his presence before I spend time in anyone else's presence. And then I'm going to look over my menu plan for the next few days and look at my to-do list for today. Well, Pearls, that's it for this video, a 1950s morning routine day in the life. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it was inspirational for you. And if you have not already, please check out the playlist because there is something for everyone. If you're new here, please let me know in the comments below. I would absolutely love to greet you and to welcome you to my channel. Well, I'm out of time, but never out of words. Something I always say here is you can do a lot with a little. So until the next time, blessings.